Hello everyone, I am E2 and today's video is strictly seen just a little bit off topic. A few weeks ago I ordered something out of curiosity that turns out to be a really useful little gadget. It's called the Charger Doctor. It's a USB volt and ampere meter. This little gadget can give you valuable information about the status of your USB device and its quality. I enlarged the information on the package. It shows you some really interesting facts, at least I think it does. It's a great diagnostics device and it can actually uncover some surprising facts. Now how does that relate to our hobby? The connection is right here. I don't know if that's really good to read, but it says 300 milliamps times 2 right down here. Like I said, I bought that out of curiosity because I wanted to see what my stock charger really does. So let's put it in the computer. I'm going to put the charger doctor in the USB port. That one shows 5.19 volts on the USB port. That is kind of a bit high, but still in the range what is acceptable according to the list that was on the package. And of course 0 amps because nothing is pulling any current right now. So now let's connect the charger to the charger doctor. And now the batteries to the charger. And the very interesting thing happens. The voltage actually drops by almost 0.3 volts. It goes from 5.19 to 4.95, which is a little bit confusing to me. And as you can see, the power that is drawn is actually not 2 times 300, which would be 0.6 amps, but it's actually almost 1.2 amps. Which means this charger is pulling way more current than it is supposed to do according to what's listed on the outside of the charger. Okay, so I'm about 20 minutes into the charge now and as you can see the voltage rises and the amperage drops, which is kind of what would have to be expected, I guess. Okay, so it's about half an hour into the charge now and you can see the amperage goes really down and the voltage goes almost up to the 5.19 it had on the beginning when there was no load or no current draw on the USB port. Well, another five minutes in and one of the batteries is basically charged. And now the other one is too. So what did I learn today? Number one, the Charger Doctor is an eye-opening, really useful little device. Number two, things are not always as they look from the outside. Seemingly, in particular, not chargers. Looks like I just found one more reason not to regret that I just invested into a new hobby grade charger. That being said, this is it for today. As usual, thanks for watching and happy flying to you all. E2, out.